Hi there folks, Gareth here, and this is the Olixer Fast Charging USB Mains Plug. What you do is you plug this in, and it charges your phone very fast. It costs $19.99 from Mobile Fun, and it brags that it can, if you've got a compatible phone, it can charge your device up to 75% faster in 150 countries. Which is pretty good. So it's a 3 amp max output. And then over here we have a fast charging for 100 to 240 volts on AC, worldwide adapter, and fast charging. Same stuff there, stuff at the bottom. And on the back it says suitable for any smartphone, tablet, Qualcomm, quick charge 2.0. Samsung adapted fast charging enabled devices and other USB powered equipment. So it features a bunch of stuff there which you can go through yourself. But importantly, down here it says fast charge 60%, fast charge in 30 minutes. Conventional charge gets 30 minutes will get you 12% of a charge. Okay, so big promises. And we got it open. All the bits and pieces here. And there we go. Right, so we have the fast charging USB mains uh, manual. 135 grams, certain dimensions, blah, 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 blah. Nothing too exciting to report. However, I am noticing one omission from the package. Obviously, you have. Uh, UK plug here, uh, an American one, an Australian one, isn't it? I can't remember. And then a European one. So we click that together, and there we have an Elixir charger. It looks very much like some of the ASUS chargers we've seen in the past. Is that a button? No. It would have been cool if it was, but that's it. It's a plug. So what I'm going to do is, you will notice that there is no USB cable provided. Okay, so what we're going to do is, my phone is currently on 50% battery. Uh, I have here, this is the Belkin 3.1, uh, 3 amp throughput or output charge cable, USB-C. It's going in here, then it's going into the wall. And we're going to check and see how quickly it charges and I'm going to come back to it. It's currently 13.27 on Sunday the 12th of June and I'll come back to it at 13.57 or thereabouts to see just how much it's charged. Okay, so let's have a look and see how we've done. It's 14.04. And we're sitting on 78%. So whilst I am about whilst I am about seven minutes late, we've got 78%. That's uh, not quite as advertised. However, I'm sure there's a couple of things that could be put putting things out of whack here. The Belkin cable may not be operating as quickly as it's advertised. Maybe if I was to try this now with the Nexus charger that came with this, we might see different results. However, that's not available right at the moment. The phone actually feels a wee bit warm, so I'm guessing it's put, packing in as fast a charge as possible, given the constraints. If we have a look and see, the battery might give us a bit of an indication. There's nothing really running in the background that's going to be tearing it down. There's a number of notifications and things like that. Things have been running, so I can't. I wouldn't like to think that anything running on the phone is going to drastically affect the fast charge that much. So what I will say is, whilst uh, we've got 28% in a little over a half hour, that's at the top end of the battery, uh, as opposed to the bottom end. I'm sure if I was to drain this down to zero percent, getting from zero to 50 would be a lot faster. I shall report back if there is anything particularly different whenever we go from 0% to 50%. Okay, here. so here we are with another attempt. The battery is down to 15%. It 
it's 1735. We're going to plug her in and see how quickly it gets that up to maybe about 50%. Okay, so here we are back. It's 20 past six. Our battery's up to 46%. So what we're seeing here is that at 1735 we had 15%, 1820 we had 46%. That's a difference of 45 minutes and 31% of battery has been charged within that time. That's not particularly great. It's a little bit better maybe than your standard plug, but uh, perhaps there is something else in play here that's making a bit of a difference. But the last thing you want to be doing is playing around with certain types of cable and certain types of environment to get a perfect combination. You're paying £20 to get a fast charger and it's not that fast. So it's a bit of a shame, but that's the Oluxor fast charger USB for USB mains. Thanks for watching.